How's it going everybody? Welcome back. And today I'm going to show you a complete guide and how to set up, install and use CyberGhost. It's a very easy VPN to use and let's get straight into it. Before we begin, if you guys are interested in CyberGhost, you'll find a link in the description down below that'll give you a little bit of an extra discount so that you can save a little bit more cash. And of course, if you'd like to learn more about CyberGhost in terms of the privacy policy, speed streaming and torrenting capabilities, you'll find a full in-depth review in the description as well. Okay, so let's get straight into it. Now, all you need to do is go to cyberghostvpn.com, go to VPN apps, choose your platform and uh, whatever device, let's say in this case, um, you know, let's just go for Windows, obviously I'm on Windows. So let's click Windows, hit download. It'll take you to a screen that looks like this. Your CyberGhost VPN app for Windows is now downloading uh, this little notification and uh, you'll have it in your downloads here. Just click the uh, setup link once you have it. Click next and just agree to the terms of conditions and you will have your VPN right here. Of course, after entering your credentials. All right. So let's click off of this and let's expand the CyberGhost um, UI here. And as you can tell, it's a very simple UI. CyberGhost is honestly one of the more budget friendly VPNs that just get the job done at the cheapest possible cost, especially when you go for the longest term plan, which is three years. Uh, of course, if you'd like to get a few extra months, be sure to check the link in the description down below. All right. And with regards to using the VPN, it can be as simple as just turning on, just clicking the on and off button right here. Super simple. It'll select what it thinks is the best server for you. But, you know, I'm pretty sure you want to be a little bit more specific about your uh, server location selection. So, you know, this is what I'm here for to help you. So if you're looking to unblock, let's say Netflix UK or Netflix US, you know, these are some of the favorites here. But you can go to the uh, streaming list here. So you have a bunch of specialty servers, torrenting, gaming, no spy servers, dedicated IP servers, which you'll have to actually pay for. Uh, but what I like about uh, CyberGhost is that, for example, let's say I'm trying to unblock BBC. I can just look up BBC and there we go. The BBC iPlayer server shows up. Let's say I want to unblock Amazon. I can just look up Amazon and here we have the Amazon Prime uh, video servers. Um, same thing, you know, Netflix. And here we have all the Netflix servers. So it is a very neat feature. Now, with regards to the servers, you have over 6,500 servers in 90 countries, which is way above the industry average in both server count and country count. And you'll be able to secure up to seven devices with just a single subscription. With regards to privacy settings, you don't have much to mess with here. You can keep this on. This is definitely good um, to just, you know, you don't have to turn this off ever, really, you know, just block trackers and whatnot. Um, of course, prevent DNS leaks and the automatic kill switch, which I personally don't use. So I'll just keep this off. But the kill switch will stop your internet traffic and disconnect your internet connection when the VPN disconnects unexpectedly. And this will make sure that you're only going to be connected to the VPN and this will make sure that you're only going to be connected to the internet when you're connected to the VPN making sure you never leak anything out okay so smart rules here you have some nice options some just uh, launch rules if you would like to uh, connect the VPN when launching your windows and whatnot so it's just a matter of preference with Wi-Fi protection you can select which networks you trust and which networks you don't trust with exceptions you can choose the websites you don't want to pass through the vpn tunnel so this is kind of split tunneling but only for uh, websites so you know let's say i can turn this on and hmm, maybe i don't want let's say netflix because i want to make sure that i'm always on my local netflix library so i can just add netflix.com all right and when i turn on the vpn it will not let netflix.com go through the VPN tunnel, which is a pretty neat feature. But I'll go ahead and turn this off. And it's the same thing with app rules. Um, I can make some app rules to make sure that uh, these applications will connect to a specific server when I launch a specific app. So I can choose apps here. Let's go to program files. Um, let's go to program files x68. Um, let's say I want my steam 
to let's just go to the executable and select that and of course i can select whatever location here so let's just say i don't know maybe germany whenever i launch steam it will also connect to CyberGhost German servers. So this is a pretty useful feature. You can, for example, set it up so that every time you open Google Chrome or the Netflix application, it will automatically connect you to your desired server. So this is a very nice feature to have. Okay, let's go to settings in here. You know, you don't have much to mess with either. You've got some launching and theme applications and language uh, settings. So, you know, of course, up to preference. And with VPN protocols, I like to choose wide WireGuard, but if you don't want to ever mess with protocols again, you can keep it on automatic. So let's just go ahead and keep it on automatic. MTU size, just keep that on default to keep your VPN performance as good as possible. And use TCP instead of UDP. This is only for OpenVPN. So if you switch to OpenVPN, uh, this will give you a little bit more security, but at the cost of speed. But again, you know, uh, if you want the fastest of speeds, you can just stick to WireGuard. I like to use WireGuard for the most part. It's definitely the fastest one. Uh, so yeah, in this case, I'll just stick to WireGuard. Um, and right here, you wanna keep these on. You don't really want to mess with that just for the best performance possible, just keep these uh, on, all right? And that's about it with regards to using CyberGhost. It's a very easy VPN to use. There's nothing complicated about it. Uh, and now, you know, we can just go to the uh, servers and pick one of these servers. You can favorite any of these servers. It's about as simple as it gets with regards to using uh, CyberGhost. So let's go through, for example, the locations here with the United States. We can just go with New York, for example, and click the on button. Again, if you guys are interested in CyberGhost, you'll find links to pricing and discounts in the description down below, as well as a full review if you'd like to learn more about CyberGhost with regards to the privacy policy, speed streaming, torrenting capabilities, as well as security and features. Besides that, keep in mind that CyberGhost does have a 45-day money-back guarantee and 24-7 live chat support to process your refund within three to four business days if you are not satisfied with the service for whatever reason. CyberGhost is a wonderful VPN, especially when it comes to unblocking streaming services, and it's a very budget-friendly VPN. So it's a great starter. If you're new to VPNs, this is a great VPN to start with. So that'll be it for this video. Comment below if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel. Stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.